Food has no boundaries. Everyone treasures their own cuisines, but for newcomers, food takes on other meanings. They diligently preserve their cuisine to give a taste of home to their new American home, instill the love of their home country to their children, and lastly, proudly represent their culture in our America the Beautiful. Spice and Recipe does all the above by introducing recipes from different countries enriched with human stories and comparison of tradition. Hi, I'm Mike DiGiacomo, a born and raised American and a food lover, and I invite you to join me as we discover the origins of flavor, the journey of spices, and the recipes of the world. Welcome to our first episode of Season 3, Spice and Recipe, The Origins of Flavor. We are going to start in Asia with a recipe from one of the biggest countries in the world, India. For Americans, when it comes to food, curry is the synonym of India, right? Well, we're going to showcase a fabulous curry recipe, but first, let's learn a little bit more about the spice behind this dish, curry powder. Curry powder is a blend of spices similar to masala, a traditional Indian mix prepared at home. The commercial curry powder was first introduced by Indian merchants to British settlers who then brought the mix to the European continent in 18th century. British cooks used the blend to achieve the flavors of India. The powder has a base of three main spices, turmeric, ginger, and garlic. Then many more spices varying from cardamom to chili peppers are added. Depending on where you are in India, curry powder used in the south of the country is spicy, while the northern one is milder to flavorful. The commercial curry powder in America resembles more the northern Indian curry, otherwise known as garam masala. The spices are roasted and then ground together with the yellow color coming from turmeric Generic brand curry powder is a reasonable price spice, but it can get expensive depending on the label and origin. The price per one ounce of curry powder varies from about $1 all the way up to almost $27 per ounce. And to demonstrate the use of this powerful blend, I'm taking you to Northern India via the University of Nebraska at Omaha. My guest is Dr. Akilesh Kumar Gupta, a postdoctoral fellow at the Department of Physics at UNO. Welcome to the program, Dr. Gupta. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks thank for you being much. here. Yeah, thank we're you gonna, so we got, much. We got yeah. a great dish, but I want before we start about uh, talking about some of these ingredients and then the dish we're going to make, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself because you have not been in Omaha or the United States for all that long, really. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Dr. Akhilesh Gupta and uh, I am working here in the University of Nebraska at Omaha. And uh, I just come here the five months back mm -hmm. and uh, this is new uh, country for me. Before I was working in the, uh, Taiwan, mm -hmm. I, uh, I did my PhD from there and then I moved to the Omaha. So. Yeah, so did your journey take you from India to Taiwan yeah. to Omaha? Yes. You, that, you, you went the long way to Omaha. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's great to have you here, but how did, what brought you to Omaha? How did you end up uh, in Omaha, right in the middle of the United States? Yeah, so uh, that's fine. And you know, the, during uh, when I was childhood, so during childhood, it was my dream that uh, one day I was in the United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm because also uh, my family also before they work in the United States. So it's my big dream to, I will go and work in the United States because I, as I know the United States is the, um, the world country, world leader country. So yeah. that's why it's my, yeah. So it, now it's my, yeah. You're here, you finally made it. Welcome, yeah. welcome to Omaha, welcome yeah, to the United thank States. thank you very much, yeah. Uh, what, what type of work are you working on right now? You're not trying to invent any new curry powders, are you, or anything like that? No, I'm just involved in the, some research, and my uh, position is the postdoctoral uh, scientist. Mm -hmm. So I do the some kind of research, biomedical related research. Yeah. yeah. Biomedical related. I, I like how you didn't dive too deep so people like me would get confused. You made it very simple. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about the recipe because yeah, sure. I will dive in deeply on some of these ingredients. Yeah. What are we making today? What are you going to make? So today we are going to make a, a desi chicken curry. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the chicken curry is very famous in India. Yeah. But actually I am the belongs from the north part of the India and is mm -hmm. very close to the Nepal and very close to the my state is Uttar Pradesh and yeah. me also very close to the Bihar. Okay. Yeah. What so region? You is yours a, a rural region or are you uh, populated in a, in a city 
environment? Yeah, I'm belongs from the village area, like the rural area, okay. rural area. So the two state is there, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. So yeah. both they prepare the desi chicken curry. So we uh, call it the desi chicken curry. So that's why uh, we um, today I'm going to prepare. It's something different mm -hmm. kind of the uh, chicken curry, but it's something different from the south part or the some other part of the India. What yeah. type of curries? I don't know if you've had any curries here in the United States, but. Mm -hmm. Do you know, is it uh, is similar to what the type of chicken curry we eat here locally? Do you, have you ha experienced any local Yeah, I curries? have experienced, but actually our uh, uh, curry is uh, different from the uh, United States mm -hmm. because they don't use the curry powder. But actually our is belongs from the herbal. All mm -hmm. the ingredients, you can see the turmeric powder is also good for it, antioxidant. Yeah. And you can see the curry powder is mix of the, all the right. uh, spices, all the herbal. Mm -hmm. And also if you talk about the bay leaf, also bay leaf also is, if you put in the water, is right. good for the health. Sure. Is the cumin powder also is good for the blood, blood pressure mm -hmm. or something. And uh, also the chili powder is also, uh, we can put uh, as per our, yeah, how much we want the yeah. spicy or something. How, how, how do you have it in India? Do most people like it more spicy? Yeah, mild? we like the more spicy, yeah. but yeah. I find that the, in, in America, there's, people don't have the tolerance for spicy stuff as much as in other countries. Yeah. Um, okay, so you have the ingredients here. Tell us about this dish. Is this something that you've adapted to your family or is this, pretty traditional from your region of India? It's the, uh, not adapt for my family, it's the tradition for my India and adopt for my country. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the in the beginning, uh, actually, uh, when my, um, how I will tell you the how I uh, means start the cooking, because childhood, when my mother got sick, yeah. so uh, actually I have a three brother. Okay. Uh, I am the younger. So that's why my mother, she teach me how to cook. So I am the responsible for cook the food for everyone okay, in the great. home. So that's You're why like me. I, I, yeah. That's my job in my family too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna get along just fine this yeah, the next so, 20 minutes. So yeah. that's why, yeah, I cook from, I just get the knowledge from my mother. Yeah. So I'm very thankful for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, let's, let's go over these ingredients. I know you briefly touched on them, but are these pretty standard ingredients uh, that you usually cook with in India? Let's start. Right here, what do we have here? Uh, this is the curry powder. It's the mix of the uh, many uh, herbal. Okay. Yeah. That's the curry powder. And yeah. then uh, the chili powder, I assume. Yes. We're going to move down this way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right here. Is this yeah, the, the turmeric powder. Turmeric, yeah. yeah. And, and this is the bay leaf. Bay yeah. Leaf. And this is the cumin seed. Cumin seed. And yeah. then just salt. This right? is salt, yeah. And as we move down, of course, we have the onion, mm -hmm. garlic. Yes. Is there any Indian recipe that does not have onion and garlic in it? I think, uh, no, everywhere <laughs> we have. It's very popular. Yeah, it's very popular, right? yeah. And then tomato, and then of yeah. course we have the chicken there. Yeah. Um, so the, for the, when it comes to the spices, in India, do you, do you ground your own spices or do you purchase it at the store? Because like yeah. for me, I go to the store and pick all those already ground. Yeah, sometimes uh, you know we collect all the ingredients and we uh, prepare in our home, like the, using the mixer or grinder. Right. And sometimes, suppose that if I'm in United States and I don't have a time, so I just go to the Asian market or yeah. the, we have a many Indian market here, many mm -hmm. Indian store, grocery item. So we can go, we uh, go freely and just take from there. I was going to ask you about that. There's yeah. a there's a pretty significant Indian population mm -hmm. in the United States and specifically in Omaha. Have, have you met other uh, Indians mm -hmm. as well that from your country, in, in specifically your part of India? Yes, I, I, I met many uh, person here and they also, they have a own business and uh, many uh, Indian, they have an Indian mm -hmm. restaurant here yes. also and Americans also like the Indian food very sure. yeah, yes. much. Love so, it. Yeah. Okay, let's dive into this recipe, okay? Yeah. You got the turmeric and the uh, curry powder. Mm -hmm. um, is that what you start with when we are gonna start with this recipe? Yeah, we will go to start with this piece. So first, uh, we, uh, I already, this is the washed chicken. Okay. So I will cut washed, it. You've yeah, cleaned it. Yeah, already is cleaned it. So I will cut it this and okay. then the, um, like, um, uh, onion. And uh, I will prepare the paste of the ginger and garlic here. Mm -hmm. And then I will mix all the ingredients all together. And then we will put it for the, yeah. It sounds so, like a good plan to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get started. Where do you want to start? You start yeah, with the onion? So I start from the here. First. Start with the chicken, yeah, okay. Yeah, first I will eat okay. the chicken. The small pieces. Yeah. Because the small pieces, if you put the big pieces, it takes more time to cook. Sure. So yeah. So you so, do the small yeah. pieces. 
What, what other recipes, while we're you know, cutting up some of these ingredients, what are other, some of your other favorite recipes of Indian cuisine um, that you love to cook? Yeah, I cook everything. Mm -hmm. Means uh, whatever you give me, whatever the Indian food, uh, I like to cook and yeah. I know how to cook. Yeah. So sometimes I cook the shrimp curry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes that, I yeah. cook the uh, mutton, means like goat meat or something. Uh, but uh, Indian, most part of the uh, Indian region, we don't eat the beef and pork. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are to pork. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why we love to, and also we can cook the vegetable, okay, curry vegetable or yeah. the dry vegetable also. So we can yeah. use whatever, yeah. So I can cook everything. Okay. Oh, but I am the younger, so I am the only one who um, lay, uh, stay most of the time in home yeah. in the childhood. Mm -hmm. So my mother yeah, teach me to how to cook. <laughs> yeah, because you were there alone, because they they probably got older, and yeah. you were still the the young the young <laughs> pup at home, kind of kind of yeah. ha hanging out with mom a little bit longer yeah. than some of the other kids. And also my mom, actually, I'm the younger, so that's why my mother uh, loves me too much. My that's mother, right. Yeah, oh, my mother and works? my father both. Yeah. So uh, sometimes my uh, brother, he, he this. Are you the favorite? Huh? Are you the favorite son? Yeah, yeah. I'm the favorite son. He just says it. <laughs> of course. Of course he is a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got this cut up. Yeah. And also the, we will put here, and then we will... Do you have a tissue paper? Yeah, we need, we'll get something to wipe your hands too. We, we had some gloves over there we could have used, but let me see if I have any. Oh, I, I do not have any tish, tissue paper. paper. Okay. There should be some somewhere. We'll get a producer, we'll bring it up here for you. And then yeah, this so magically shows. This wipe your hands with that. We also have a towel here that we can mm -hmm. use. Okay, so you cut the onion. You want me to help cut that onion? How much do you how much do you have to cut it? You cut it, you chop it up small pieces? Yeah. You want me to help you? It's okay. Do you use this whole onion? It's small pieces, yeah. Okay. If it's big pieces, it takes more time to cook. Yeah. I mean this is I cut up um, a lot of onion. I do a lot of Italian cooking. Mm -hmm. So I'm cutting up a lot of onions all the time. <laughs> and uh, wife will come in and say, mm -hmm. Why are you crying? I say, well, I'm not crying, I'm cutting an onion. Uh, Sometimes, no. If you're talking about the crying or something like that, yeah. So you first you need to wash this. After yes. wash, if you cut it, there is no tears in your eyes. That's what I've heard. Yeah. I seem to always cry though. I think I've probably cut I don't know twenty thousand onions in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you probably you probably more. Uh, do you ever now that you're in a, in the United States, do you ever eat out? Do you ever go eat out, or you mostly cook at home because you like your cooking better? Yeah, sometimes we suppose if we feel uh, uh, means like alone or something. Yeah, so we you just go outside to. You eat. just don't feel yeah. like cooking. Uh, or sometimes if I just uh, yeah, but mostly we cook in our home. Yeah. Yeah, that would be better. Yeah. I like there I is like two reasons. One is for the shaving, and second reason is the like the yeah we can cook by himself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it gets expensive to eat out too. That's yeah. probably another reason we try to stay in. Okay. Do you want me to put the onions in there? All the whole onions? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> these ingredients, these spices sitting here, the yeah. turmeric and the they, they just. They're powerful. They, they have mm -hmm. great aroma. So now we will prepare the paste of the garlic and the ginger. So we will put all the... And then you just cook that in with the chicken. Yeah. How much garlic did you put in there? Maybe the... I already you put the four. Four cloves? Yeah. Okay. Four cloves of garlic. Did you bring this? No. Okay, that was here. That's yeah. ours? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you have one of these at home? Yeah, we have in home. But okay. sometimes if we in the um, means, uh, more amount, we need the grinder. You also. need the grinder, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then of course we have, we already have the, uh, the rice over here. It's pre-made, so we don't have to do the rice. So whenever this dish is done cooking, we can give it a go. I'm going to start up the, uh, 
Yes. This guy for us. Mm -hmm. Get this started. Just put on the small flame. Yeah. There we go. You want a medium? Medium high? Yeah, the small. Just put the small. Slow. Maybe, okay. yeah. Put the letter we will. So you knock those out, grind that up <laughs> until uh, it's nice and mashed up. Yeah. So now we will put did it. Uh, did you add oil? Oh, you add the oil. Okay. So you put the oil right on top of the ingredients. You don't yeah, throw it in the pan we, first. No. Okay. We will put the small. So now, do you add all these ingredients now? Yes. So you just throw everything together. Yeah. Well, that makes yeah. it very simple. Yeah. Yeah. That's why because why we put together when we put in the fan, uh, pan, mm -hmm. so we will keep it for the close. Yeah. So all the, you know, the gradients, they yeah. have a flavor. Yeah, for sure. So the flavor is blend. not come outside, it's mm -hmm. just inside. Okay. So that's why it makes the different kind of set. That's why I call this tasty chicken curry. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Have these all been measured out? Or uh, no. are you just kind of yeah. eyeballing I, how much I, you I put will, in? I will put this. Okay. If this is more, it's fine. No okay. problem because... So the turmeric is fine it. if it's if it's, a, yes. if it's a little more. Yeah. Okay, put this here. Give me the good stuff. How much do you know? How much do you yeah, know to put in For that? the here, we will put... Uh, yeah. We, if that's we the need curry. the more spicy, yeah, this is the curry yeah. powder. If you need more spicy, mm -hmm. we put more. If you I need say go less, for the heat, yeah. but you know there's going to be other people eating this in here, so <laughs> we don't we want to get everybody's mouth on fire. Yes, so we, I will put all okay. and uh, the bay leaf also. You, do you break it up to get some of the flavor out of that leaf? Yes, yeah. it's a kind of flavor. That's, that's very why. dry too. Yeah. So, you set that aside. Could you make it smaller? Yeah, turn that down just a little bit. Okay, there you go. Now, since you've been to the United States, yeah. it's only been weeks, but how many times have you had chicken curry since you've been here? Uh, maybe the. Uh, the within the week? Yeah, uh, since you've been, yeah, the last couple months. Yeah, couple. Every time I'm prepared, maybe the uh, within, if you talk about the one week, seven Once, days, so yeah. maybe I cook the two or three times. Sometimes two I or three use times it. a week. You're yeah. eating this. That's great. <laughs> and you uh, love it. I, yeah. yeah. You love this stuff. And also, I uh, sometimes I cook the uh, like shrimp curry, yeah. sometimes mutton, and sometimes as vegetables also I like. Did you need salt yet? No. Okay. Do you want me to cut up this tomato? Yeah, I will keep it. Or do we need that uh, yet? Just, you can cut these small pieces. Just a little, please. just yeah. a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just put the salt, as per means, it's suppose bit, yeah. I like to eat the more salt, mm -hmm. and the uh, American like people likes to less yeah. salt. Yeah, so it just depends on what you like. But if you, if you keep it the small, okay, lighter, you will check before the, uh, before okay. the prepare. Okay. If is the you feel like that we need more salt, so you, you can you add can, it. You can always add but it. But if is the more, if you put more, the lighter you cannot add it. <laughs> you can't take it out. Yeah. yeah, Dr. Gupta, you cannot take the ingredients out once they are in. Yeah. Here, do you want me to? Yeah, just give me the half. Yeah. Just half? Okay. Yeah, just. Let's back that up for you. Okay. We're good. Is that good enough? Mm -hmm. That gives it a little moisture too, but you have some Thank water. You. you have some yeah. water that you're going to put in with this too, right? Okay. Perfect. So now we will mix it. Okay. You blend all the ingredients, yes. all the spices together. Yes. You have not put in ginger in there yet, have you? No, already I put it. Okay. But you did put it in. Yeah. Okay. Just keep it small. Keep yeah. a little bit of that yeah. in. Lower. It's a little high. Because it's thick. I'm afraid it'll 
go out if we go too low. Is that doing what you want it to do? Yes. Perfect. That's fine. So you blend all these spices, mm -hmm. kind of roast the seeds. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you know when those seeds are done? Okay. Add so the ingredients. Now, yeah. Listen for the sizzle. Best part of any meal prep is the sizzle. Some water. Yeah. A little bit of water. Okay. There you go. Now you can really, the aroma in the room really picked up a little bit. That smells delightful. And then do you blend the ingredients in? Do you need a spatula? Yeah, some sort of spoon. So you keep it. You want me to mix that up a little bit? Yes. Okay. With the bay leaves in, there's more fragrances, mm -hmm. they're all blending. And this is actually, it's a, it's a fairly easy, fairly easy recipe yeah, yes. once you get all the good ingredients. Yeah. And you got to make sure you cook that chicken throughout. Mm -hmm. keep this also. So you put a little bit of water in the bowl yeah. to capture all the rest of the seasonings yes. that are still yes. left over, yes. put it in the frying pan with yes. the chicken, and cook it more. That water mm -hmm. simmers things down too a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you take over this. Can you, can you throw the lid back on? And then how long do you let this cook? Just take the 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, yeah. okay. So now we will keep it. So as this dish gets ready, I'd like to invite you all watching us on YouTube to please press that subscribe button now. And if you'd like to be on the program, just let us know. Email us at spice at newamericansmedia.com. You can text, call, or WhatsApp message us at 001-402-714-5380. It does not matter where you are, whether you're in America or somewhere else around the world. As long as you know a little bit of English or have some help with it, we can have you on the show. You can be a part of it. We would love to feature your recipe and your country. Okay, back with my guest, Dr. Gupta. How is this dish doing right now? We've been letting yeah. this cook. It's cooked for about 20 minutes. Yeah. So just we will check his, the status. Ah, look at that. <laughs> it seems, yeah. Yes. To check the what is the but condition. It, it, does it pass the nose test? It, it's yeah, good to go? It's, yeah, it's for the... Let's do this. Sh smell. Let's dish yeah. it up. I yeah. have some dishes over here, and then we've got some, sure, we've got some white rice. Sure, yeah. <clears throat> Close it. Is this how you dish this recipe? Is on top of rice or on the side? Or how? Yeah, just the, you here. Okay, you spread you the rice. put some yeah. in the middle? Mm. Okay. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let me go like that. Yes. Okay, I'll do over on my side as well. Okay. Good to go with the rice? Yeah. On a bit of on a bit of rice? Yeah, so now we will just Now the uh, dish is done and it smells fantastic in here. Those the spices have blended together, mixed together, melted yeah. together. And we're going to try it on top of this rice. Smells fantastic. Yes. What other traditions in India do you observe in terms of, especially when it comes to food? Yeah, so, yeah, we have a different kind of uh, things to, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Uh, if you want to put more curry, so you can mm -hmm. put more water. Okay. Yeah, and also Perfect. you can check the this looks fantastic. We just have a couple minutes left, but I want to get this. I want to serve this Before dish. Before the serve, you can check the salt. What is the status okay. of salt? Okay, so you want to try it a little bit. Yeah, so. Should we just, 
Give it a oh, I'm, I'm going to check the... That's very hot. Be careful. So what I always use my hand. Mm -hmm. That's great. Good. You don't need salt? No. Good. We're good. Because I was ready. I was the man. Yeah. I was going to help you out. I was going to slam some more yeah. salt in if we needed to. How do you serve this? Just right so on top of the rice? Just, yeah, top on the rice. Um, as you're serving that, do we use forks? Do you use forks in India? We use forks mm -hmm. and a spoon and sometimes we use the, you know, the, usually we use our hand mm -hmm. to, to make you, it. Because you use your hand? Yeah, for to eat. Yeah. But you know, the, not not too much. Did yeah, I put too much? Yeah, it's too much. Well, Maybe so, yeah, take, let me yeah. take some of that off. <laughs> okay. So you don't put too much. See, I get excited. Yeah. Okay. How about that? So because why we use our hand? Because the hand is the one kind of the sen sensual. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, they can, and we can use our hand for just for own. But okay. the spoon, they you know. The is, is this the right amount right here? Yeah, okay. that's fine. Perfect. Right. So you, you use a hand. Yeah. Yeah, use hand. Okay. Because you know the hand is only one of the things ki only we can eat by ourselves. Yeah. Okay. The but spoon they use many people before. Right. Yeah. So, so that people have used it before. Yeah. Unless and also you know the why we use hand because is the scientific reason is the kind of sensual means it can sense is it hot or not. Your hand knows the yeah. temperature of it. Yeah. So everything uh, that looks and hot. also yeah. yeah and also our tongue is also the one kind of sensation they yes. can uh, test it yeah. right so that's why we are you it. still eating with your hands uh, <laughs> I mean are we eating hot. with our hands today it's hot so maybe I can I'm, I, I'll, I'll yeah we when, can in, use when in India yeah okay we can use hand okay so you get a little piece of rice first yeah. right we can mix with the, this okay. and <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, fantastic. You beat me to it. Yeah. You got the wow before I did. This is fantastic. Yes. I've never had homemade <laughs> chicken curry like this. How do you, do you, with the chicken pieces, do you? Yeah, you can, you can just uh, like, just. Do you get a little rice first and then get yes, the yes. seasonings and the chicken? Yeah, something like that. Mix with the chicken. Then you eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. This is better than restaurant quality I've, I've had yeah. in Omaha. Yes. Okay. They want me to start saying some words on camera, but I'm just going to keep eating. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah. Dr. Gupta, yeah. well done. Thank you for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being and, and for you out there, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check our website at newamericansmedia.com. Yes. Dr. Gupta, thanks a lot. Yeah, this is a fantastic dish. Yeah. And we yeah. got some left over. So there's going to be some people in here that get to eat it. So yeah, thanks, sure. thanks again yeah. for everything. Yeah, thank thanks for much. watching. We appreciate it. Go yeah. out there. I'm Mike DiGiacomo. Have a great day, OMA and the USA.